My name is Masashiro Natsuaki from Saga University, Japan. And I will present the results of stop the free trial comparing the uh, conventional DAPD strategy versus no aspirin strategy in patients with PCI. DAPD is the standard strategy uh, in patients undergoing PCI to, re to uh, prevent the ischemic cardiovascular events, stem thrombosis in particular, uh, at least one month after PCI. However, the incidence of major bleeding uh, is still, remain, uh, still remains high in patients with acute pulmonary syndrome or high bleeding risk. So uh, in meta-analysis, um, short durations of DAPD followed by a P2I12 inhibitor monotherapy demonstrated 40% risk reduction in major bleeding events without increasing cardiovascular events. So the hypothesis of this study is that removing aspirin from DAPD regimen could reduce major bleeding events without increasing cardiovascular events in patients with ACS or HBR. 6,000 6, patients with ACS or HBR undergoing PCI were randomly assigned to no aspirin group and DAPD group in one-to-one -one fashion. Primary endpoint is uh, ble bleeding and cardiovascular event. Regarding the co-primary bleeding endpoint, cumulative one-month incidence was 1.5% in the NOAA spring group and 4.7% in the DAPD group. Hazard ratio was 0.95 and p-value was 0.66. So NOAA spring group was not superior to the DAPD group. Regarding the co-primary cardiovascular endpoint, evaluating the non-inferiority, cumulative one-month incidence was 4.1% in the NOAA spring group and 3.7% in the DAPD group. Hazard ratio was 1.12 and upper 95 confidence interval was less than 1.5. So no aspirin group was non-inferior to the DAPD group. However, uh, the rate of um, subacute uh, definite or probable stem thrombosis and unplanned coronary revascularization was higher in the no aspirin group than in the DAPT group. Uh, we, we should be careful uh, in adapting this result to the population outside Japan. First, the uh, risk profile is different from Japanese and Westerns. Second, uh, the, we uh, used the Praskel, low dose Praskel in this uh, study. And this dose is one third of global dose of Praswell. So we should be careful in adapting this result to uh, the population outside Japan. In summary, uh, aspirin free, free strategy compared to the DAPD strategy failed to attest superiority for a major bleeding event and there was uh, and was associated with a signal suggesting an excess of coronary events with no aspirin strategy. So uh, DAPT with aspirin and P2I12 inhibitor uh, would still remain the standard strategy in patients undergoing PCI at least within one month. Actually, the incidence of major bleeding was unacceptably high in this uh, study. So further trials are needed exploring the strategy to reduce uh, major bleeding events early after PCI in patients with ACS or HBR.